bring y'all out here and just uh, show you. We got some wind today, but uh, kind of give y'all an update on the energy setup here, the wind turbine. As you can see, it's uh, in and out. We got some pretty good gusts coming, and uh, when we got a good gust, she's producing some pretty do pretty decent amperage. But uh, we are in absorb mode right now. I'll bring y'all down here, show you on the Midnight Classic. We're uh, doing pretty good. Got some decent amperage coming in. Y'all have seen this setup before, but I did add a much bigger dump load up there because my dump load just wasn't big enough. When this wind turbine gets to really cranking and it starts dumping, uh, I just had those the two brown ones up there was my dump load, and right now we are dumping as you can see. Uh, that red light shows that we're in dump mode. So right now, all of these, yeah, they're heating up quite well. Uh, so it's dumping, distributing the excess energy to keep the batteries from overcharging. But as you can see, we've got some good winds today. And uh, we're putting out some power which is fantastic. Uh, I like the days when we got some good breeze and that wind turbine is setting up there turning. <clears throat> but the solar panels, you know, I've only got the, uh, the six panels right now. I will be adding three more in the spring. Let's see if I can get you all a shot of the turbine. I know it probably doesn't look like it's doing much because the camera uh, shortcuts out there, but let me tell you, she is whipping. So that Missouri wind and solar wind turbine definitely doing a good job. I know it looks like the blade stopped there every now and then, but that's just because the camera can't keep up with how fast they're going. But they are spinning. Just to give you an idea, let me see. See them trees whipping around there. My little uh, weather station. She's whirling. So, yeah. The wind turbine is cranking today, people. Getting some good power out of it. But, yeah, you know, during the good gust, she's really picking up and kicking. So I just wanted to kind of update y'all. The, uh, the wind and solar setup is definitely doing a fantastic job. Um, I have my little battery charger there. I think I've had one period in the last couple of months where I've had to actually charge the batteries. Um, even with the, the shorter days in the winter here, the uh, solar panels have been able to keep the battery bank, you know, in absorb. Like right now, I'm in absorb mode. Um, it's like lunchtime, and we're in absorb mode. And it was overcast, cloudy, and snowing, and raining earlier this morning, so probably another hour, and we'll be in, uh, in float mode. But right now, everything is doing well. But 
Uh, yeah, I did lose one of my batteries. Uh, bad thing about having batteries shipped in the mail is they can get broke. And in the last batch of batteries I bought, when I had them all hooked up, the next day I came out here and I had some leakage. And sure enough, one of the batteries had a crack in it. So now, uh, as you can see, I'm missing the one right there on the end. Um, and that's because it was cracked and I had to dispose of it. But we got the nice heavy battery terminals on there now, or cables on there now. And the uh, system is working very nice. I've got no complaints with this setup at all. Um, the, the only, there we go, we're dumping again. The only thing I, I'm complaining about is it needs to be bigger. Uh, and I want it to be bigger so it does more. But uh, for a, such a small system, it is working very, very well. And I'm getting some very respectable um, amperage out of the wind turbine when we get the good winds. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you all a quick update. Will you survive whatever comes your way? I sure hope so. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all. The Leatherman Surge. Now, this isn't always practical to carry because the, the Surge has quite a bit of weight to it. And even though I carry it on outings and stuff, I do keep it in my vehicle whenever I'm out and about because it's just a lot beefier. And I can carry all the bits and everything that I really like in this setup. I also carry a ferro rod.